Hello again, it's uh, video three in the Be Funky series and as a reminder we are looking this time at Be Funky Pro where we're thinking about producing pretty big images suitable for um, display on a art gallery wall or whatever and so the bit I'm trying to look at here is FX Pro gives us 76 effects as opposed to the free 34 and Frames Pro gives us 34 instead of the free 15. So with that uh, in mind, let's swap over seamlessly, he says, into um, the B Funky Pro, which I'm just going to make sure that we're using the right one and doing this effectively. But there are two. The one on the left, the white one, is the free version. The one on the right, which is the grey version is the paid for app which uh, looks at he says just going through come on um, and I'm just loading up the image that we need just to make sure that you've done it exactly right as I have meaning that we don't leave anything out we would much rather not be doing this like this because it's wasting time but there we are okay so to prove we're in be funky pro for £1.89 UK or $2 US, we have the app. Now, effects is the big deal, and there are tons in here. So at the moment, I have saved a viewfinder effect with the star. If we edit it, it looks like that. That's what it looks like. So what I want to do is go back to the original and just play around a little bit here. So if you're looking to load edit and save, having 76 effects alone or using a combination can be quite troublesome but a fantastic opportunity. So let's just see what we've got. Instant looks like there are five, six, seven, eight. There's eight instant effects. Eight instant effects. Let me just go through, oh sorry, um, yeah effects. So, Lomo Art, I'm not going to go through all of these, Viewfinder 2. Now, in Be Funky Free, all you got, I think, was Viewfinder um, 2, which was that one. But in the paid version, we've got Viewfinder, but we've got a load more. And this is why I immediately purchased for the small amount of a couple of dollars, because it starts to get very, very interesting the different effects that they are producing. I'm just clicking them at random. I mean, you could argue that a lot of these are, depending on what your use is of how you want it to be, very, very interesting. Remember, if we hit the um, sliding bars, we've got customization over how we use those effects or the brush button and the things there. So going on to the original, we can go through, and there's a couple of them I just want to show, summer, vintage, 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 what's that one do? Please, please spend time playing around and thinking. Anybody can click the buttons, but it takes someone special to quite honestly go through it and say, what is my vision? What am I trying to create for a specific purpose? And we know Be Funky, of course, isn't the only app available on the planet for mobile. There's tons of them. But the thing is, is it's a matching process. I'll show you one that I do actually like. Um, okay, Sketch is there, which isn't looks horrendous in my view. My opinion matters little. That, I always think, looks brilliant on somebody's T-shirt. And I th I've never found a photo that you can just slam in on a four colour. And it just looks great. Never been a fan of that one. Pop art. I mean, in my mind, the $2 is good enough just for one or two of these effects. So going all the way through to the end, and we are at the end. And this is a really interesting one because you've got this brick wall thing. And I've, I've had a lot of messing around with this, a lot. And that is that when you go in, what you've got is not only the slider, of course, to go um, the percentage of how much it's there, but when you go into the paintbrush thing, you can actually start to 
paint in uh, parts. Oh, I've made the brush a bit bigger. Um, so you can have just the wall. It's one of the reasons I chose this image just as a, an example, really. So almost we've got a a wall. Um, let's erase that a little bit. God, it's a bit, a bit heavy, wasn't it, really? Let's take the eraser off, bring that down. I'm not an artist at all. I'm rubbish at it, but my finger is just about okay to mess around a bit with this. Remember, we can pinch zoom and come you know, all the way in and do something, pinch zoom out. And we've got a, little, a wall there in the middle of nowhere. Look, that was that. The one that we need to do next, I think, quickly is the frames because that was the difference in the pro version. And we start off with lots of different frames. What's going on here? Yeah, that, that's a nice one for the anywhere that you want an instant square. Uh, basic blacks, what's this, rounded? Have a muck about with it. I think that is really, really handy for the old drop shadow business. Because you can, I mean, doing a drop shadow, as we know, has just come to Google Docs um, on desktop. It's also in, you know, Picasso and has been for a very long while. But getting the old drop shadow is a very, very, very nice uh, effect, should you need it. Some of them, in this example, I don't think are that suitable. Instant 2. Remember in um, Be Funky Free, we had a couple of instants, but in here, you've actually got a lot of them. Um, and I'll just demo again, which I believe is a brand new thing for me, is the tree isn't uh, showing, but if we dial, dial this into the right, it all of a sudden brings the tree in. I, I think that is lovely. That is absolutely lovely. Not for the photo that you're seeing on screen, but for the sheer facility that you can actually pan the image that you are creating. Instant, instant. Uh, what else have we got here? Notice that there were a ton of them. So what's this one do? Instant. Hmm, I wonder what that does. Um, what am I doing here? Am I still panning? That's interesting. It's panning up and down, that one. Interesting. Interesting. Film strip. Film strip. Film strip. Um, what else? What else? Film strip. That's that's an interesting one as well. Is that still panning? Yeah, it is. See what I'm doing actually quite honestly is this is how I work. So I look at it and I store these things up and I'm thankful that I've got a pretty good memory, especially a good visual memory, to say I know when the time is right what I wish to choose in terms of the effect for the outcome that I am designing or looking to write about or anything else. Also, let's be honest about it, it's a bit like a game and also quite therapeutic to go through. And I wonder if that does the, the pen in thing. Yeah, it does look. That's it. That's, that's video three over. All we're really saying here is that there is a bucket load, a truckload of choice. And this was B Funky Pro, ending video, whatever number this is. I'll see you in the next one.